Lord, we pray in Jesus' name we rebuke all of this. Come on, Jesus Christ. As the waves surged ashore in American Samoa, they prayed for help. Father, please help those who do not know what's going on. Get them up to higher ground. But the water didn't stop. Deceptively slow moving, it swept away everything that got in its way. What a view. This is where Solis used to be. In other parts of the Samoan Islands, the waves were six meters high. They tore through these low-lying islands. You have a look over here. Everything is just completely wiped out. Amateur video from American Samoa shows the wreckage left behind by the wall of water. Cars thrown around like toys in its path. You can imagine the sheer force of that. Here and in neighboring Samoa, they're still counting the dead. 500 miles south in Tonga, the waves swamped entire communities, killing at least seven. Comedian Pamela Stevenson was in Samoa and witnessed the aftermath. There were cars, um, new cars what, that had been new, sort of piled on top of, of um, rubbish that had been thrown up by this, this wave. There were fridges and air conditioners floating in the sea. I got the very sad news that a dear friend of mine had died. She and her husband were trying to run to safety. They were trying to run to their car. Um, they were caught by the wave, and she was found on the beach uh, a little while later. In nearby French Polynesia, people were evacuated from coastal areas. International warning systems seemed to have worked in outlying islands, but the Samoan islands were closest to the epicenter. Many say they had no warning. It should be remembered now that at any time, a severe earthquake occurs. Don't ever wait anymore for any notice of a, of a tsunami coming. Just get out to the nearest hill and stay there. The U.S. Coast Guard has already sent emergency and communications equipment. The Coast Guard is helping to provide immediate help to those in need. Uh, we also stand ready to help our friends and neighboring Samoa and throughout the region and we'll continue to monitor this situation closely as we keep the many people who've been touched by this tragedy in our thoughts and in our prayers. Have a look at this house. American Samoa was reportedly planning a tsunami early warning drill this week. Instead, they're now sifting through the devastation left behind by the real scene. There is panic on the streets as people flee their crumbling homes. But with bridges destroyed and fires breaking out across the city of Padang, there may be nowhere safe to run. Thousands are thought to be trapped, buried beneath piles of rubble. Authorities are preparing for the worst. There's been a lot of trauma from, uh, from the communities in the nearby areas. Uh, Palang has been identified uh, for a long time as uh, a quite a key risk uh, uh, area in, in Indonesia where a large magnitude earthquake like this one uh, is, uh, it was, was possible. This city of 900,000 people sits on one of the world's most active fault lines and geologists have long warned it could one day be destroyed. For now, the search for survivors is slow going. Power cuts hamper the efforts. And landslides make it difficult to get help to where it's needed. The city's main hospital has collapsed and the number of injured is overwhelming. Phone lines are also down and only daybreak will reveal just how devastating this earthquake has been. Sara Merchant, Sky News.